where we sent over a study about drug repurposing for COVID-19 using Grab neural network. As COVID-19 happens, there's an urge to identify effective treatments. Traditionally, the drug discovery process is very expensive and time-consuming. Therefore, the researcher looked toward the drug repurposing as an alternative strategies that involved utilizing non-trust for the candidate treatment. Drug repurposing boasts some benefits. First, it has established information on safety, side effects, and optimal dosage. Second, it significantly reduced development cost. Third, it's less of time consuming as it allows for skipping certain stage in drug development pipeline, as well as it expedites the FDA regulatory approval process. For the scope of reproducibility, our goal is trying to construct and apply graph neural network on variety data resource to demonstrate the multi-models and complex relationship among genes, drugs, based phenotype, and to identify the most promising drugs for a potential COVID-19 treatment. As a result, our experiment generates a list of candidate COVID-19 drugs. For the workflow, our study divided into three parts. First, data processing. Our goal is trying to generate a graph data that is embedded into the DRKG format. Second, knowledge graph. We construct the graph convolutional network graph um, and then to generate the data for potential drug candidates. Third, the ranking models. We create our own classifier models and then combine it, into, combine it with other models. For the data description, we obtain the data from a variety of resources. Um, all the data generally represent information about gene, drug, phenotype, and page, as well as their interaction among each other. As soon as we have all the data, we're going to label them to see whether a drug can be used in a clinical trials. For model description and computational implementation, for the knowledge graph, the input is going to be our preprocessed data that already uh, embedded into the DRKGs. Um, our model structure including three parts. The encoding uh, GCNs is constructed by um, the input layer of 400 feature. Um, going to the graph convolution, activation, relude, concatenation, but normalization, we generate the latent space representation. The second part is decoder GCN. We actually use a linear layer to help reconstruct the original graph from the latent space representation. The third part is auto encoder. It's basically like the graph architecture that leverage um, the capability of both encoder and decoder. In this study, we use both VGAE and customized um, GCN autoencoder. We optimized our models with Atom and set a learning rate at 0.01. For the ranking models, we use a custom neural network with Bayesian's pairwise ranking loss. The input is the knowledge graph that generated earlier. Now it's going to be split into positive and negative trend validation and test edge. The model construct by fully connected layer with size 128. Then it's go over the activation, dropout, patch normalization, ratio to add it, and then come up with the output layers size 1. The PBR loss is construct by subtracting between positive edge and negative edge, followed by the log sigmoid activation. The outcome is gonna be negative mean of this input output. Uh, for the model comparison, we compare our classifier with other neural network models. They are including long term, um, long short term memory, multi layer perceptron, transformer. 
Um, we also uh, compare our layer with other traditional classification models, including support vector machine and KNN. And at this, at the visual show here, uh, we found that as the K equals seven, it's gonna be an optimal K value for the KNN reverser. For the results, our ranking model generate forty seven candidates for COVID nineteen drugs. Apply the criteria related to on the trial or use in the model. Um, we narrow down that number into 16 candidates. Among of them, uh, emoting, calling, active, hustle, correlated compounds so the promising. We also find this half a literature showcase the drug efficacy against COVID 19. Our brief so dove different uh, from the original paper. However, among the 10 drugs identified, six of them are consistent with the original findings. For the final knowledge graph, we decided to go with the GCN autoencoder instead of VGAE as it helps to generate a better accuracy. Um, however, the results show that our knowledge graph underperformed compared to the one in the original paper. It could be due to uh, the larger data sets or how data retrieval. Also, in our study, we use the autoencoders versus in the original study, they use the graph stage. For the ranking model classification, um, the, so the basically is um, the ranking model um, have to determine the drug efficacy. It's so that our customer neural network outperform the baseline model with poll, uh, with poll number of IUROC and IUBRC higher than the baseline models. Um, for the discussion, um, we come to the conclusion that the results of the original paper are reproducible. We come up with three key findings, um, the knowledge graph, and as well as the custom neural network graph, which um, generated with the input is the data embedded in the DRKT format, they could use the best accuracy at predicting drug potency against COVID-19. Also, like our custom mice neural network outperformed the baseline class classification models. Our model, like, um, predict the three promising potent drugs, including emoting, calling, and active hustle correlated compounds. In terms of, in terms of complexity, we find it easy to understand all the ranking model um, and measure up the outcome. However, we find it's very challenging for the data retrieval and preprocessing. We also find challenge um, to understand like the GC and autoencoder as well as um, the BBR loss function and how to integrate them with our graph model and our like customized no neural classifier. And yes, that is a wrap of uh, our presentation about our study. And here's the list of reference. And thank you so much.